Say cheese. Cheese? Shoe cheese. I tell you I don't want cheese. I don't want zin zin shit. Aladdin is telling you to say cheese so that way you smile. No. Cheese no make Aladdin happy. Green card make Aladdin happy. Just say green, you idiot. Okay. Green. Guess who? Ever wondered what the world would be like if nobody ever smiled? Well, let me tell you. Well, for one, the Joker wouldn't exist, and Batman Begins would turn into Batman never happened. It wouldn't be the same without Master Joker. Exactly. When you think about it, life would be absolutely miserable if we never smiled. If our jobs already sucked, they would suck even more. If our relationships had flaws, they would fall even further. And if you were already suicidal, well, you would remain suicidal. Because Morgan Freeman would not be there to tell you that you matter with the absolute most genuine smile. Because you can't smile anymore! And the worst part is, that happy birthday would turn into a sorry birthday. <laughs> Hello, father. It's a disappointment calling again. I, I just want, I just want to wish you a, a sorry birthday. I'm sorry, father. I'm sorry you ever born. They didn't tell me that this place that would have peanut butter rice crispies. When you think about it, the smile is so universal and so easy to spot to a point where even your 93 year old Nona doesn't need her binoculars to see it. It can be spotted from over 300 yards away. That's like... A lot of football fields. Hey, it's a three football fields. Three. One of football fields a hundred yards. Such a stupid guy. <laughs> Whoa, I feel like he just ripped me a new one. <laughs> he actually did rip me a new one. You wanna know what's my favorite part about this gesture? It's the one signal on this earth that everybody can agree to and recognize. So you don't have to worry about traveling from country to country to find out that a smile might mean what the hell are you looking at in China or come at me bro in Russia or, this baklava tastes like camel's feet, but I'm only pretending like it tastes good just so that way I don't lose an arm. In Kuwait, oh yes, they take their desserts very seriously. And if you thought that the STD that your neighborhood hooker was passing around was contagious, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> let me tell you. A smile was so contagious that even Vladimir Putin might get it. Have you ever realized that when you smile at someone, they automatically smile back at you 99.99999% of the time? Did I forget a 9? The reason why we smile back at someone is because subconsciously, without really thinking about it, the brain is trying to basically mimic the facial muscles to see if your facial muscles and your smile is going to match their smile. If it matches, chances are, it's a real smile. If you can't match it, chances are it's a fake smile. I'll show you what I mean. Look at this picture. You're going to notice two types of muscles that occur in a smile. You have the mouth muscles, aka the orbicularis oris muscles, and then you have the eye muscles, which is the orbicularis oculi muscle. Yeah, yeah, that was right, right? Here's the deal. In a real or fake smile, the mouth muscles are going to move anyway, so don't pay attention to the mouth muscles to pinpoint a real smile. The trick is to focus on the eyes. In a real smile, you need to look for three things. Number one, are the eyes turning into a teardrop shape? Number two, which might be tough to look for, but are the eyebrows dipping downwards? And number three, which is the easiest one to spot, are there wrinkles at the ends of the eyes? So for the guys out there, long story short, if her eyebrows ain't dipping, she ain't digging. And if her eyes ain't wrinkling, she ain't sprinkling. That charm on you and the... Uh... Hey, you know what? Don't look at me. You know what? Let me see you look for something that rhymes with wrinkling. You know, I feel pretty bad for some of the guys out there that got married through arranged marriage.
I bet you some of the guys that chose the wrong wives are watching this and thinking, man, I wish I knew this trick. Can you picture the husbands in Saudi Arabia asking their fathers-in-law for redos? Hello brother, I would like to make a complaint. I like daughter, I buy, I bring home, I don't like. Can I get refund? You're selling two daughters? Hana and Jamila? Buy one, get one half off? I'll be right there. It's crazy how this one simple gift that we've been given can change our whole life. For example, number one, genuine smiles easily make us 10 times more attractive. Look at these two pictures. The one on the right says, hi, I'm pretty, but you can find better than me because my smile is fake. But the one on the left says, hi, I'm so pretty that my smile makes my hair glow. Please. Please take me, we'll make Vietnamese and Palestinian babies together. Nah, I'm just kidding, that last part was just me. Number two, smiles make you believe that you're happy. The brain is one of the absolute most brilliant creations ever, and even this sucker can fall for any smile. When we smile, even through the toughest days, our brain says, hmm, I know he got a $300 parking ticket, and I know he lost custody of his kids, but he seems happy, so I guess he must be happy. And then starts to release happy hormones to make you believe that you're happy too. And number three, it's an absolute mandatory in any relationship. Listen, I don't care what type of relationship it is, if it lacks a smile, it's going to crumble into a pile. A smile is like a light bulb. It lights up the room, it lights up the souls, it represents hope, and it tells the other person, hey, I'm enjoying your company right now, and no, I don't regret the day that I met you. Do you regret the day you met me, Master Hayla? Huh? 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 Sorry I asked. And number four, let's not forget that it's another form of charity. It's like the daily invoice that you didn't know you had to pay. Sorry man, I don't have a dollar. But I got a really good joke. It's no wonder why babies have to practice smiling during pregnancy. Alright buddy, you've been practicing 9 months for this. All that training, it's gonna be put to this. Ready? One, two, ah! One, two, Three! What comes after three again? Oh no! It's the alarm clock! Must not nap! Must 